we are looking at Dead Rising 2 K0, which is an Xbox 360 exclusive downloadable prequel to Capcom's Dead Rising 2. Since everyone in their grandmother is reviewing this, there's probably no reason for me to do it as well. Instead, I thought we'd do something else today and take a look at the 9 combo and scratch cards that you can collect in K0, which not only nets you some achievement points, but can be carried over to the full game. Right off the bat, there are three items you can make before even leaving the gas station. The ingredients for the spiked bat is found right next to the workbench that you start in front of, and as the name implies, this is made by combining the baseball bat with a box of nails. While it's probably the most basic do-it-yourself weapon in the game, it's pretty effective. Never leave home without it. By combining one of the propane tanks with another box of nails, you can make your very own IED that you can stick on the back of zombies to make them considerably more explosive. <coughs> if you head to the back room of the gas station, you will find a bucket which you can combine with a power drill to make, wait for it, the drill bucket. It makes a festive zombie hat. When you exit the gas station from the floor entrance, head right across the road to find a canoe paddle next to the building. Run up the street to the hardware store to find a chainsaw and combine them at the workbench next door to create a paddle saw. This is an extremely effective weapon that makes it really hard for zombies to get near you just by running around with it armed. Another really basic weapon you can make is the Molotov cocktail. This is made by combining a newspaper with a bottle of whiskey and both ingredients can be found pretty much everywhere. I do love the smell of burning zombies in the morning. If you run into the last alley on the left, right before the military roadblock, you will find a car battery resting on the top of the container. Combine this with one of the rakes in the hardware store to create the electric rake and go zap some zombies. Go into the alley behind the hunting store, climb up to the roof of the building there and jump across the alley right next to the staircase leading up to the first floor of the hotel. In the corner of the building there you will find a yellow hard hat. Combine this with a bottle of beer to create a festive beer hat, which can heal you quickly with its multiple charges. Just don't drink too much or you'll get sick. In the gas station, go to the back room and take the ladder to the roof to find a can of spray paint. Apart from using it to paint the wall with, you can combine it with one of the traffic cones found by the roadblock or behind the grocery store to create the air horn. While it doesn't really do anything to harm zombies, it sure is good at attracting them. Those of you who have gotten to the one psycho boss in the game will be familiar with the pitchfork shotgun combination weapon he's armed with and you get as a combo card for defeating him. But you can actually make it for yourself by finding a shotgun on the top floor of the police station. The front door is locked, but if you jump over the fence between the bowling alley and the pawn shop, you can get in through the back entrance. Once you have the shotgun, run downstairs, unlock the front door and run up the street to the hardware store for a pitchfork. While it loses its effectiveness as a regular shotgun, the boomstick gives a whopping 2500 pp each time you kill a zombie with a heavy attack after you've gotten the combo card from defeating the boss. <laughs> By now you should have gathered all the combo cards and be more ready to take on the zombie hordes in Dead Rising 2. Until that comes out, there are still plenty of ways to party in Still Creek before the military arrives. So if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my game. <laughs> 